Yo, so basically I'm just doing a voiceover so that you can't hear the music and I get a copyright strike, but here is my amazing cart full of electronics from today's haul, baby. Let's go. What's up, everybody? What is going on? Just packaging some orders, and today I was going to do a little bit of a bolo video and then show you what I sourced. I got a truck full of electronics, and none of it was made in the 2000s. So, let's start going over it. The first item I'm going to show you is this bug assault gun. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen these, but you can kill flies. There it is. You kill flies by shooting salt at them. And it's also fun to shoot your dog, you know, if you're far away. <laughs> but you will find these for a buck or two at, all over. Goodwills, yard sales, things like that. This one sold for 30 because the latch is broken a little bit. Uh, brand new, they're 60. Used condition, you'll get about 40 to 45, depending. So keep your eye out for that one. Oh, and magically, just like that, it's later in the day and I change because I'm hot and I got to unload all these electronics. The next bolo of the day are Nike golf bags. Nike does not make golf bags or clubs anymore or golf balls. So anyway, there are some that are way more than others. This one is like a $90 one. Let me go through some comps. But this is $1.50 amazing okay let me pull up some comps here so you can see that and then we've got like one or two more bolos for the week okay as you can see here um obviously some are more than others if they're brand new they're going to be a lot but you see pre-owned ones 150 bucks all the time look at that shipping so this is the one that i have seriously no one is going to bid with 110 shipping. This is stupid. Anyway, there's your bolo for uh, your second bolo for the day. Nike golf bags. Time to grab a cold one, go out to the truck and start unloading. And then I'm going to show you these other two bolos. Okay, and they just happen to be vintage electronics. Crazy, crazy. Don't mind my messy work truck, okay? These other two bolos were um, something that I learned today, actually. I mean, I knew that stereos could be hot, but certain ones are like amazingly better than the others. So if you've got like, I don't know what you call those, like synthesizer type stuff. Um, if it's got detachable speakers, if it, it was a popular model back in like 88, 89, 90, and people want to have it again. Um, if it's working, obviously that helps. And if it's got a tuner and a power cord. Uh, in the 90s, they started coming out with remotes, probably late 80s. If you can find that, it like doubles the freaking value sometimes. But all you have to do is type in the model number. You don't even have to type in the brand a lot of the times, and you'll get comps. As soon as we get inside, I will show you this one. Okay, the other one I learned about today, because I was just out looking for VCRs and all that, combos, uh, as you know, they do well. Vintage alarm clocks. So this one is actually, you can plug your coffee machine into it. So if you only have enough outlets for your coffee pot and your bread maker, uh, you can plug this in and then plug your coffee into it. So there was no model number on this. So I just typed in uh, coffee maker, general electric coffee maker. Made in Japan is always hot. So Let's run aside and we'll comp these two and then I'll show you everything else I sourced today. So sometimes guys, uh, you gotta be pretty, I guess, defined on when you uh, search for these. You'll get random things that come up. Earlier, I don't remember what I typed in, but I got different results than this. So I was getting more results like this. This one's $38.99 uh, and they are selling. I think it's like a hipster thing. So I was going to price it at 40 bucks if it works. Never even tested it, but you get the deal, guys. Okay, so this one was one that I could not find that exact model, but very, very similar. Uh, these seem to be very hot in Ukraine. $444. Uh, 
in the US, they look more like that plus 108 shipping, which is ridiculous. I cannot believe that. So, this store, anyway, you're getting the idea, right? Hopefully. This store was one I took uh, Prison of Profit Dante to, and um, it was much better this time around. They seem to price everything about 10% of its projected eBay value. I don't know if they're just doing that, looking it up that way. This one I couldn't test because it's missing the power cord. However, you can buy generic power cords. Um, you know, China. I don't know where you're buying from, but they're on eBay. This, the one thing you do want to make sure is, though, that it's not corroded to the point that it's not going to work from the batteries. This thing takes eight batteries. They were all corroded. Um, they're all super heavy-duty crap batteries from the 80s. But I'm going to get a power cord. Hopefully this works. If not, you can still sell it for about 30 to 40 bucks, parts only. All right, so if you came here for the bolos, uh, you don't have to keep watching all my stuff I source, but if you want to learn something, stick around. So, two Guitar Heroes uh, guitars. Two bucks a piece at this point. These two, I will probably sell together for 40 to 50 bucks. They're not one of the nicer ones. But that's okay. There are some that still go for upwards of $100 if you get the right one. Okay. I got some Sony Walkmans. Uh, this looks brand new, just a little scuffed. I don't know. I think somebody just never used it. This one looks brand new as well. Have not tested them. They did not have... Well, no. The batteries were just dead. Or, yeah, one of them didn't have batteries. Uh, some games do good. This one... I think comps around 20 and I paid two. And uh, let's see, I'll show you my stack. Okay, so basically just more VCRs. Uh, this one was actually in a free pile and I have not tested it. It was said $2, but like I said, free pile and I'm not gonna test it at that price. Okay, this other Sony stereo was comping at around $80. Or no, 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 that's a lie. I think this one was nicer than the other one. I'm a liar. Okay, VCR. Combos always do a little bit better than VCRs. And if you get lucky, there'll be a DVD in there. Uh, VCR. Okay, specialty items like this. So, this is a JVC dual cassette and recorder. So, those are the kinds of items that you're going to want to look for. The, uh, the specialty... Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying. And this one down here uh, controls, what is it called? Like an equalizer or, um, yeah. It uh, is the main brain of the system. I don't even remember because guess what? We don't use those anymore. So that was the electronics I scored. Let's go to the rest of the hall. All those electronics were $49. Not a bad price. Okay, I got another golf bag. This one was also $1.50, and I'm actually just going to keep this for myself because the one I have doesn't do this, and I hate it. Okay, you already saw the alarm clock. Last thing I'll show you. Custom makeup case. Okay, so there are certain, like, uh, companies that do like multi-level marketing. And this one I believe was made for that. Uh, it's like a traveling sales case. So if somebody's gonna get into that, you know, they probably charge them a hundred dollars for this. And I paid four and I could not find this locking hard case in this colorway in this brand on eBay. So if somebody wants to be ultra unique, they're gonna come to me. I did see soft ones for like 40 or 50 bucks, but don't hesitate, my friends, to look up one-offs and uh, give it a go. Okay, hopefully that was short and sweet enough for you guys. Uh, I still have not dropped my uh, estate sale bid from last weekend where I turned like 250 into 3,000 or something, 5,000, I don't know. So stay tuned for that. And until then, take care, stay safe. Catch you on the next one, guys. Have a good night.